850 million people around the world went to bed hungry last night. Many of them are smallholder subsistence dairy farmers working with a few number of cattle. In Bangladesh, dairy cattle rearing is an inseparable part of smallholder subsistence farming system. Here, low productivity is frequently observed due mainly to genetic and nutritional constraints. High population growth causes scarcity of land with low agricultural productivity. It results occupying most of the land with crop production, especially rice production. So dairy cattle are mainly dependent on crop residue rice straw. We have a lot of food, but we don't have a lot of food. Our livestock production is solely based on crop residues, particularly straw which is very dangerous and it's not sustainable production system at all. In order to enhance the productivity, profitability, and advance sustainability of livestock production, we need to allocate more land for product production. I am a guru, I should do work, I can do it for a guru, I should do it for a guru, I should do it for a guru. Normally, our farmers supply crop residue without any concentrate and green fodder to their dairy cattle and also they want high production from the cattle. But it is not possible to get much production from our dairy cattle without supply green fodder. Unless improved feeding management practices, these cattle may not fully express their potentiality. Its fundamental approach to provide quality diet comprised of green grass or cultivated fodder to dairy cattle in sufficient amount to maximize their milk production. If the farmers can cultivate fodder throughout the year in their land, the problems of heat can be solved. At the same time, the productivity of our animals can be improved. Now, regarding all the facts, the driving question is how the traditional straw-based feeding system can be changed. So, our target was to introduce fodder production technology utilizing fallow land of smallholder farmers that results high productivity from dairy cattle. We inform the farmers that we have the technology of fodder production. If they work with us, we can assure them how to completely change their lifestyle to move from subsistence farming to having a surplus. In the project, we worked on three perennial fodders. Those are Nepair, Splendida, and Androcrogon, which are highly productive and nutritious for dairy cattle. Our research comprised of four pillars. Pillar one, motivate farmers about fodder production. Pillar two, technology transfer from scientist to farmer. Pillar three, transform straw waste to fodder-based feeding system. Pillar four, enhance milk production and economic solvency by marketing milk. Based on the present situation, our research was to identify the problems of dairy cow raising and mitigating the problem by integrating scientific fodder production technology around homestead fallow land at formal level. Let's talk with the farmers who was involved in this project. <laughs> From the research, it's distinctly visible that the cultivation of fodder is profitable to the farmers. After five years, this research might improve rural livelihood and alleviate poverty as well as malnutrition. After five years, the mentality of the farmers will be changed. Smallholder farmers, they will realize more and more the importance of cultivation of fodders for feeding their animals to get higher production. There will be a positive impact of high yielding fodder cultivation by the smallholder farmers to get improved production of their animals. And we think further research would help the smallholder farmers to be economically solvent by adopting fodder production technology. That's all about my research project. It's concluded that green fodder-based livestock production eradicates hunger, reduces poverty, and brings economic solvency to the farmers.